one of the objects that I showed you earlier was a kaleidoscope, uh, an inexpensive, you know, children's toy that I had requested. You know, my husband asked me, what do I want for Christmas? And I said, I really want a kaleidoscope. And the reason I wanted one is, who doesn't love a kaleidoscope? It's beautiful colors. I mean, you almost, when you see one, you can't help but pick it up. You have to look at it. You have to see it. You, you, you can't just pass one up. It's like, oh, a kaleidoscope. You want to see what's in there and what happens when I turn it and what does it do and what colors and what kind of stones or what kind of, and you know, you can, there are some very expensive kaleidoscopes that you can buy and there's some very cheap ones, but it really doesn't matter. When you see one, you're almost compelled to pick it up because who doesn't feel the joy of all those colors moving and shifting and those patterns and they're just, it's beautiful. And we have an aesthetic sense as human beings that makes us appreciate beautiful things and fun things. And it's, uh, I think we did a thread one time on a social networking site that I'm on and talked about the idea of sprinkles sprinkles on ice cream or sprinkles on a cupcake and how really they're either at best tasteless, right? Or at worst kind of nasty tasting. And yet when you have something with or without sprinkles, everybody wants sprinkles because they're so happy. They just bring happiness to the cupcake or to the ice cream. And there's nothing, it's not, you know, a costly thing. It's just about the joy of the color and, and the joy of enjoying that almost like, it's almost like eating confetti or eating a party, you know? And, People love things that they find beautiful, and it can be a very expensive thing and an exquisite thing that somebody is, you know, a, a high-end connoisseur of something and appreciates like some very expensive, valuable, rare, well-crafted piece of something. Or it can just be as simple as, I used to have that when I was a child, and I can't believe I've seen this now in the thrift store. I haven't thought of this thing in, you know, 30 years. And you just, you can't believe that you're looking at this thing that you, you used to love. Uh, it, I, I just cannot imagine how anyone could go through life and not find, uh, I, I just don't even know how you could avoid meaning and how you could avoid uh, beauty and happiness and love. And, and I understand that there are people in very rough situations where they don't have the, I guess, the luxury of being able to spend that time to appreciate an aesthetic. I mean, when you're, Obviously, when you're starving, uh, your concern is food. You're really not worried about the beauty of a kaleidoscope at that point. You're worried about meeting a, a basic life need that's not being met, and I, I absolutely grasp that. Um, but once your basic needs are met, it's like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, once you have the security and you have the, the basic needs of your life met, there's nothing left but to appreciate it. 